better. Welcome back, guys. Video time. Worst intro I've ever done, but there we go. Jen, <laughs> this is the first time, the first time ever that we're doing a review after quali, just before a race. So we did our predictions, which were shit, um, because none of us saw Max having an issue in quali. I'm not gonna lie, I jumped off my seat. It was great. And Maybe it's the first race curse coming into effect already. Could be. I am tempted to put a fiver on him winning. Um, just to numb the blow when he does probably win. Can he win? Can he win? Today. I'm 50-50. He's, he's got the car behind him. Mm -hmm. Like, brilliant. Like... We've seen him come through the field before, um, and he's won the race. But Jeddah, it's a circuit which there's not many overtaking spots. I think that I think there are a lot. Of, there are like two, three straights where you could, but then you're gonna you can risk getting re overtaken. Like DRS chicken is gonna be a big thing. So yeah, yeah. The, the, the oh. Red Bull has a big top end speed though. Yeah, no, like, don't get me wrong, he's fast, but is the reliability going to hold up, for one? And what's going to happen in front? That's a point, actually. If if there are no safety cars, I don't see Max gaining 30 seconds on Checo and passing him. I say 30, probably less, but with the field spread after the first couple of laps... Or if Alonso overtakes Sergio on lap one, makes it a bit harder. I don't know. It all depends on the start because Max could get taken out. We could get caught up in a in an early incident. Exactly. He's probably in one of the worst spots <coughs> to be on this circuit. There's other circuits where you, you can kind of stay out of trouble, but Jeddah, obviously, you've got walls like so close to you that. If you're not going into one direction, you'll be going into the other. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting. Um, obviously, we've got Leclerc as well, starting 12th. So they're quite close. Um, that can be interesting, I think. The, yeah, but I do think Max will be past Leclerc early, like the first few laps. I, I don't know why. I just don't think that Ferrari's that good. Especially for this circuit. I might be wrong, but, yeah. Well, we'll see. They, they think they've got race pace, Ferrari. Charles is happy with their pace this weekend. Um, it's just obviously unfortunate that he's got the penalty because it would have been good to see him without it, him starting P2. What can he do? Could could he bring, could he have bring, brought the fight to Perez? I like, yeah, I don't know. I think I part of me do does think Perez will walk away with it. Um, yeah. Just because he's historically good at street circuits, and last year he should have won. Like before Latifi shot it in the wall, episode two, and we're still mentioning Latifi. What a pain as he was. Um, so, <laughs> um, but if Latifi didn't put it in the wall and cause a safety car, the lap Sergio pitted. Sergio had that race under control, so I think he's good here. I think he doesn't have the pressure of Max being right with him, for, at least for the opening stint. So I think Sergio's got it in the bag. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've got high hopes for Perez. I think yeah. he needs to win this race. If he so much wants to be battling Max for the championship, he needs to win this race. Because then they can go into Australia and be like, well, we've both won a race. Who's going to be next? Also, if Perez wins and Max doesn't get up to P2, Perez will take the lead in the standings. Yes. Only on round two, but still, that will be, you know, you, you can't tell yeah. the driver leading the championship to get out of the way. I think Perez needs to have a bit of a backbone this race. He needs to be like, nope, not happening. I'm predicting this is going to be a Monza 2020 race type race um potentially <laughs> well did you see the formula 2 sprint race oh what is poor Cher? like what <laughs> how he 
everyone's saying he is the next big thing, and granted, he is fast, but he is so dumb at certain points. Like, he but, does have his moments. I'll give him, give him that. Like everyone has their moments. Yeah, I uh, mean, there's having moments, and then there's sending Ollie Berman to, to bloody Australia a week early. Like, <laughs> yeah. let's do predictions. Otherwise, I'll go away too much. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. For the race, obviously, already done quality. For that turned out. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm backing him. I'm going to say Perez for the win. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alonso second. I feel like I'm becoming an Alonso fan now. It's <laughs> it's just happening. Um, signs third. Russell fourth, mm-hmm. and Stroll fifth. No Max or Charles. No, I'm not. I'm not holding my breath that they're going to have the perfect race for Charles, even though he needs it. Because um, obviously, last time out he scored no points. So. Okay, right. I'm going. Sergio, Fernando, Lance, Signs, Russell. Top five. Double up okay. the podium. We've, we've done the same drivers. Give me a prediction for the race then. Do you think Max and Leclerc could collide? Because obviously they're not in either of our top fives. No. I don't think those two will collide. I think they'll be involved in other incidents with other drivers. I'm going to call it. So Leclerc's 12th, isn't he? Yep. Max is 15th. K-Max 14th. Yes. I'm going to say, watch this happen. Max and K-Mag will collide and Leclerc will get caught up in it. Or the other way around. K Mag and Leclerc will collide and Max will get caught up in it. If this happens, what a dream. Obviously not for those three, but for the spectacle of the race and it being exciting. Yeah. Um okay. What do you think quickly about Oscar? It's a great result. A really good result. Yeah. I knew you were gonna ask that question. You can wait <laughs> all morning to ask that question. <laughs> Yes, he's done very well. Your golden boy. Congratulations. It's like me and Holkenberg, isn't it? <laughs> he, yeah. He. I'll tell you what. He was close. I mean, he's outqualified K-Mac both races. You know. I know. I know. I, and I'll give. I'll give him that. Mm-hmm. I. I can't understand what's going on with Magnuson. Like. He did have an issue in Q3 though. His downshifts were out of sync. So I do think that had something to do with it. But yeah, game, you know. <laughs> it feels like I don't know. I don't know if it's because like the car's obviously a bit different to last year. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's not getting along with it as well. <coughs> um, and obviously Hulkenberg hasn't got anything to compare it to. Yeah. So was it ha- made had me thinking last night? Was we a bit harsh on Mick? Because obviously he, no. in his second season... Hold on, let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> in his second season, obviously, he, it was already better than his first, mm-hmm. I'd say. Um, yeah, he did crash a bit, but he still scored points, you know, whatever. Um, obviously, he was comparing the two cars because they were completely different. And it takes getting used to and everything like that. And obviously K Mag, when he came in last year, he didn't have the year before car to compare it to. Yeah, he had a he, he had a much slower car to compare it to and he was out of action yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And it's like was it was it more highlighted that K Mag was doing well because of Mick doing badly. Oh. But like, is that is this happening this time with like Hulkenberg? Obviously, he's doing good. Don't get me wrong, but is that being highlighted because K Mag is not doing as well as he did last year? 
you get what I mean? Yeah, I get, I get what you mean. I think K-Mag's always been a good qualifier. He has also made mistakes historically on qualifying laps. But Mick, I know Mick did out-qualify K-Mag last season a few times. But I think what they're looking at is the start of the season last year, Mick was a long way off who they deemed their number one driver, which was Magnussen. Hulk are going to come back after effectively three years out. Effectively. And has out-qualified him both times. And has instantly been on the pace with him. So I think, yeah. from a Haas perspective, instead of having a driver there and a driver there, getting a bit closer throughout the season, they've started the season with two drivers, I think, at identical points of being consistent and being quick. So... Do do I think I was too harsh on Mick? No, just because it is a performance game, isn't it? Another topic before we wrap up for the day is Mr. LH himself, Lewis Hamilton. I think he might go to Ferrari <laughs> at some point. There's so many rumours. Um... Have you heard the, the talk of a swap with Leclerc for 2024? I heard it was going to be Signs, who was going to be out of a seat. No idea where he's going. Um, but then the rumour is that Norris would go into the Merck seat. So would Signs go back to McLaren, though? I don't think he'd accept that, but maybe. He might not have a choice. Um I don't know. It would be cool to see Lewis in Ferrari. He has always said he wanted to race for them, and Toto's dropping all the hints saying if we can't get him in the car, he could leave, you know? Well, obviously, Lewis has made a big change. He's obviously, his partnership with Angela has finished. Yeah. Um, everyone, I think everyone's reading a bit too much into it, that part. Um, <coughs> She obviously wants to go off and do something different. Um, mm. He was happy to let her go because they're such good friends. Um, and yeah, I think everyone's reading too much into it and saying, oh, like, whatever. And then obviously Toto f- fueled fire because he was like, if Lewis wants to make changes, he can. Because obviously Angela was employed by Lewis, not Mercedes. Yeah. So... Lewis can decide who he wants to be his trainer. Lewis, yeah, yeah, okay. which is fair enough. Um, but I get what Toto is saying that Lewis does need to look at other options if they can't give him a champion championship winning car in the next year, year or two. Yeah. Um, thing is, I'd like to see him in Ferrari, but I don't want the same thing happening. To him, what happened to Seb, where yeah. it was a few years driving around, a couple of wins, a couple of podiums, not fighting for the championship. If he's going to do that, he should just stay at Merck at the moment because they haven't got a podium this year at all. So mm-hmm. it's a bit like I think he's got to be patient. Yeah. Either he believes in his team he's been with. Or he keeps an eye on Ferrari. Um, or he just retires. I don't think he'll retire. I think he will go on until Fernando's age, when Fernando retires. We'll see. <laughs> you heard it here first, Lewis will go to Ferrari. He'll end his career at Ferrari. God, that's a claim, isn't it? That's a big claim. Um, but yeah, that's Can wraps you up. Hold on, hold on. No, you go, okay. you go, you go, you go. Can you imagine if he wins the champ- a championship with Ferrari? In the drought they've been waiting for. Could you... Ooh. That would be, like, the best thing ever, wouldn't it? It would. I've just thought of it and it makes me very happy. Right, okay. That's a good thought to end on. I reckon that would be epic. Let's hope, let's hope. Um, or just Merck turn it around, you know. It's not Yeah, hard. yeah, either one. I'm happy with just yeah. let Lewis win the championship again. We just need an eighth, right? That's all we want. But um, yeah, that wraps up today, guys. Thank you for watching. We will be back for is Australia next week? Uh, not next week. The week after. So cool. We'll be back in two weeks for the Australia preview. Um, and yeah, we will catch you all then. <laughs>